So basically what I've done is to speed up the process instead of having to hook and unhook, hook and unhook, hook and unhook every single tank, we just ran them all in series together. Now this is for charging specifically. So I'm pushing out of the recovery into the vapor of this tank, coming out of its liquid line into the vapor of the next tank, and then out of that liquid line into the next tank's vapor, out of liquid into vapor, and doing it all the way through until the final tank were coming out of its liquid line and into the, uh, into the chiller. So what is happening is I'm pulling the vapor off of the chiller that's, that's been, of the refrigerant that's been charged, and I'm pushing that vapor specifically back into this cylinder. As I do that, it pressurizes the cylinder and pushes that liquid down and as that liquid pushes down, it draws it into the next tank. Now you also have to keep in mind that because I am pulling vapor off of this chiller, there's also a little bit of a pulling action. So more than just it pushing, there's also some pulling. Those two in combination literally pushed all that liquid refrigerant through each tank all the way through until we had completely uh, charged every tank with just one hookup. Now this takes a lot of hoses. That's one of the reasons why some of these hoses are just the small version. Uh, one, we just didn't have enough of, of larger hoses to do the entire thing. But we just wanted to see how far could we push this at the time. I was very curious. We had a bunch of tanks and we had just enough hoses to literally get every single tank connected. Um, and so we just figured, what the hell, why not? Why not try? So, and it worked out beautifully.